Three, two, one, lift off! Ashley gave me a drone. Wow, brilliant. And we're trying it out in the woodshed field. He's flying it because he knows what he's doing. It's a bit windy, so you'll have to bear with us, but I wanted to show you where the next part of the railway is going. Very exciting. But we have to get a bit higher first. Up, up and away. See, that's our house with the grass roof and the red chimney pots. Actually, the colour's pretty washed out in these pictures, but never mind. And that's the route of the existing railway up to the kiln at the top. And these are the sidings into the drying tunnel. You've seen all this before, but I'm just reminding you. Now, looking down the field, we can see the engine shed and then the barn. That's us, hello! And further on is the garlic field. Hang on, we're getting there. Up a bit. Mind the willow trees, just over the, yep. That's the garlic, getting bigger every day. This will all need harvesting in July. Now, there is already a railway that runs down to this patch from the muck heap, but it doesn't run into the barn yet we want to bring the garlic into the barn because that's where it's going to dry out. And this year we hope to plant up more of this field so the railway needs to go much further, right down the middle towards the far end, once this has been harvested of course. Now there is a snag, well lots of snags actually, but the main one is this. The barn railway, which already exists inside the barn, is at a much higher level than the field. About three feet higher so we need to install a ramp an embankment ramp with lots of soil or fill many tons of fill I expect now I could go and buy some and it would come on a lorry and the job will be relatively easy although it would still have to be tipped quite a long way away from here but there's no need for that. I already have some spoil fill soil, whatever, left over from Sandra's big barn build. It's a little overgrown, but it should still be diggable. The only problem is that it's all the way over here and it's needed over here. Now this much railway is already down there already. So all I need to do is build this much. <laughs> and connect up these bits. Sounds easy enough, but let me show you where it's going. Right through this, an overgrown chicken run orchard. Nobody's been in here for years. At least 50 foot of it is impenetrable. although I did clear this half of it earlier in the year. There are fences and gates to make at either end, levels to sort out, and a bank to dig out as well. And then we just need to find a way to connect it to the existing railway. What a project. Now you're probably thinking, oh, why doesn't he just get a lorry load of fill and save a lot of time and money, and then I wouldn't have to watch the videos and it'd be much easier. Well, <laughs> now you see, you have to see the bigger picture. And here is the bigger picture. This is the ultimate project, connecting up Sandra's new barn with the garlic field. But that's an enormous project. But if we could get halfway this year, then wouldn't that be something? Of course, this is still a huge project and the deadline is coming up fast. It has to be already by halfway through July, which is when the garlic will be ready. So we need some help. You want to help? Get in touch. We need 
jungle explorers and earth shifters and track builders and track layers and of course sponsors because it's still going to cost a huge amount of money just for the materials and of course this is going to be the biggest railway project ever uh, i mean here of course <laughs> right then while we're up here still do you want to see the sea it's over there bantry bay what a wonderful place we live in it is amazing it doesn't empty out at that angle <laughs> that up them. right then can we get this drone down again safely up to now i think all the drone stories i've ever heard end with a tree or a bush or a pond but no not this time thanks ashley what fun